Oh, that's a lot more. You can make me happy and soothe away my, my cares with just a touch and a word. I love you because we have so much fun together everywhere we go and whatever we do. I love the way you can make me laugh. And I, <laughs> I love you because of the dreams we've built together, the ones we're still working on, and the ones we'll dream of here. <laughs> I love you because I'm a better person with you by my side. You give my life a deeper meaning and purpose. I love you because you're my world, my everything, nothing else. <laughs> Do I have to go next? <laughs> <laughs> by my side, everything in the world seems better. Good things are twice as much fun, because when I share them with you, I get to see you smile. <laughs> it's a great smile. Um, bad things are only half as bad, because I know I can, I can always count on you to help me through them. With you to hold my hand, I know that I have someone who sees life a lot like I do. Someone who shares the same values, dreams the same dreams, and I know that I have someone who understands the parts of me that other people don't even know exist. With you in my life, I know that I have everything anyone could ever want. Someone who's understanding and supportive, who's fun and interesting, and someone that I love who also happens to be my best friend. Brian and Stephen have decided to exchange rings as part of their vows to one another. <laughs> we now ask God's blessing on these rings and on the union that they symbolize. Pray with me. <laughs> Do I really need yes. Like, yes. 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 Oh yes. Okay. What? I have to read this because I'm afraid I'm going to crack. I have to read oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Kate Vogel. First of all, I love y'all, and I'm so proud of y'all. Oh. And now I'm going to start crying. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to read. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> That's all right. Dear Brian and Stephen, on this night as we sit here and celebrate your marriage, I'm reminded of a long, long time ago before y'all met, we used to sit at our house, cook dinner, drink a lot of wine, <laughs> and Howard and I would give you relationship advice. <laughs> and for those of you who know us, that's comical, to say the least. <laughs> but your handicap start to this relationship. Hold on, I have to read. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I'm not sure anybody else would have ever taken relationship advice from the two of us and lived to tell about it, but you did. Your relationship has grown into a love that most people could only dream of. And one thing we did tell you, and I know for sure, is that the foundation of a good marriage is not love, but friendship. And in y'all, I see not only partners, but best friends. That is the most important thing that you will need moving forward in your relationship because we all get grumpy, we all get tired, and we're not always at our best. I mean, not me. I am a ray of sunshine. Why did you just laugh so loud, But a true friend is with you every step of the way. And as the very wise Marilyn Monroe once said, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Yeah. And while I'm sure that your life will be filled with all the best moments, as your friend, I'm happy to know that even in the worst, you will have each other. We love you so very much. And everybody, please raise your glass to Brian and Stephen Hartwell. Yeah. And I didn't cry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I only had to write it down. Nathan and Richard, they're right here. <laughs> Ready? Hey, everybody.
<coughs> Stephen and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> May you continue to inspire one another as well as those around you. May you have continued success in love, in career, in life, and now in marriage to the best of friends. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I'm crying. <laughs> like wonderful words and Nathan Richards words of, uh, of inspiration. The easiest way for me to begin to toast Stephen O'Brien is to not to look at them. <laughs> it's nothing bad, you know, but if I do, then all the emotion comes into it. He starts crying. It's a wedding, by the way, and not a funeral. So <laughs> Um, I've had the privilege of knowing Brian. Or no, wait a minute. <laughs> I have. Yes. I feel the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a normal Saturday morning for us <laughs> at 9:10. You know, uh, but I guess I've known Stephen longer. Uh, I think I met Stephen almost six years ago at, at an, an event at, at the garages where Stephen came up and introduced himself to me. Uh, he had heard of me through the grapevine that works very well in this town, apparently. Uh, and Stephen and I uh, became fast friends after that. Um, it's been five and a half wonderful years of Stephen calling every morning and saying, Hey, good morning, it's Stephen. Hope you have a good day. Because <laughs> I send him sometimes a voicemail like, every morning and he's so chipper. <laughs> Cup of Starbucks. I need at least two to wake up. So by 10 o'clock, I call Stephen back and like, hey, got your message. Hope you're having a good day. And we always, uh, we always find time to talk. Um, Stephen, over the years, has become um, the equivalent of a brother to me. He's the oldest of four, and I'm the youngest of four. Mm -hmm. So we have that understanding of what brothers mean for each other. The oldest looking out for the younger, and then the younger admiring the older. Mm -hmm. Stephen has become a great friend. <coughs> um, through a lot of times together where um, we listened, we talked, we laughed, we cried, and we, you know, uh, traveled together and done some stuff that's probably not appropriate to talk about here, because <laughs> Stephen knows as much stuff about me as I know about him. It's all good, though, because, you know, it's <laughs> a problem for 40, and it's time to grow up and, and do all those things. Uh, and then Stephen had the privilege of meeting Brian along the way, and including me in uh, and getting to know Brian, uh, we all had a wonderful dinner together. And from from that point on, uh, especially when they started dating more, um, I would listen and laugh and cry and talk and be supportive to Stephen and Brian along the way. We have a very unique um, friendship. Not only have I come to know Stephen uh, like a brother uh, and a friend, someone I've known here in Birmingham for a very long time, and Brian's become part of that journey as well. So the idea is not to cry, but for it to be a time of celebration. <clears throat> we have wonderful moments together on Saturday mornings where we get together for coffee, we talk about life, we talk about what's going on. Uh, we have the best of, of friendships. Uh, I have all of the benefits of having them in my life, and then I can go back down to 303 and just hang out. Yes, I joke. Uh, I have all the benefits because I can go up there and eat and drink coffee and not have to clean dishes or do any of that stuff. And sometimes it's a little things in life. I am absolutely thrilled for you both today. It's a time for celebration and it's a time to laugh. And it's a time to be able to look at both of them in the eyes and to wish them the best of luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That I'm not done. Hang oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who have seen bride, Bridesmaids, we've always joked about what's Charlie going to say after the wedding, right? Because I want to get the microphone Spanish. once, and I'm proud not to say anything. I, mean, I, don't, I don't speak Spanish, but I'll try. Je ne peux pas parler mais je ne parle pas espagnol, whatever that means. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll get down because it's time. Uh, the love that you both celebrate tonight is echoed by all your friends and family who have been able to come and be part of it. Mm -hmm. I have the special privilege of seeing it in the morning and at night with one either walking the dog or having coffee on Sunday morning. I truly cherish it all. I love you both as brothers. And as time goes by, uh, and we both we all end up in nursing homes. Someone's got to push me around because I'm the oldest. <laughs> and on that note, as y'all, uh, as we move forward and celebrate the love you both are celebrating here tonight, uh, I wish you the best of luck. Whatever I can do to walk with you along the journey is what we are all, we are all here for. We are here, we are here to, 
celebrate the love you both have come to know in each other and respect and share with all of us. I'm privileged to be part of that, <laughs> as is everybody else here. So please raise your glasses to Stephen and Brian for their love they have for each other. Christina. He told my husband earlier when I was trying to write this, I said, I am scared to death. He goes, just take a seizure and you don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but he is in the medical business, and I said, I can't do that because you'll have to rescue me, and I'll have to do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I brought something down because even though I'm a flight attendant, I have a hard time speaking in front of 150 people <laughs> without a partition. <laughs> <laughs> it came out of my shell when I was a flight attendant, but Brian helped me with that. <laughs> so Brian and I met as flight attendants for Alaska Airlines almost nine years ago. Uh, we were not impressed with each other. <laughs> <laughs> this soon changed after he got past my severe bob haircut, as he describes it, like this. Severe. Severe. I thought it was cute, but uh, and then I realized how contagious he was. We were soon calling each other best friends. We often talk about our, our life parallels. Shaking. Uh, we were Anchorage-based flight attendants living in the same building, doors from each other, which was great. I love to smile every day, bringing me coffee or inviting me over. And then we transferred to Seattle the same month. Um, we had ups and downs of our parents divorcing and remarrying, but we're there for each other. And uh, we bought homes uh, the same or within months of each other. The worst time ever. <laughs> 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 and then we sold our homes within weeks of each other. <laughs> the worst time ever. <laughs> uh, both of us having handsome nephews, uh, one nephew each, and a precious niece as well. And now Brian drives the same car as I do. <laughs> I got mine first. <laughs> Brian and I have had many uh, adventures together, uh, laughs that will last a lifetime. And uh, we've cruised together, we've raised money for great causes, we've run a half marathon together, high-fiving every mile. <laughs> and it was in wine country. <laughs> <laughs> we played Banco uh, once a month together in a group, which was females only, but we had an exclusive for <laughs> uh, We kayaked, we snorkeled, which Tony had to help him with that. <laughs> we vacationed in Fiji, Hawaii, uh, you name it. We've played in Hollywood and, of course, celebrated every Halloween with uh, a better costume every year. <laughs> and I hope that continues. Um, all through our adventures, we've, our paralle paralleled lives, we have helped each other in this crazy dating world. <laughs> uh, all along knowing neither, neither one of us could settle down with anyone that uh, didn't fully accept Brian or I. And then we met Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Strong friendship started between three of us <laughs> when Tony tossed the cookies that Brian brought in the garbage. <laughs> Tony and I married last May. Uh, two years ago, sorry, I'm cold and I'm nervous. <laughs> two years ago today, Brian and Stephen met. Four months later, well, two years tomorrow. Okay, okay. sorry, tomorrow. <laughs> Close. Close enough. hours. <laughs> uh, four months later, Tony and I got to meet Stephen when they traveled to North Dakota to attend my little sister's wedding, who is here. I thought Brian visiting my home state for his 50th state was uh, a treat, but he didn't say that it was a real treat. I kind of picked a better husband for Brian. 
You know, the, the cool thing about um, going through life, and, and you, it's obvious that people stand up here and they have all this love and care for you, and, and we hear it for right now, and I'm sure it's being videotaped and stuff. But what's really cool is the gift of music because it says so much from your heart. And so you're. And now I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. Simple that. Anyway, so we, we had a great time down in the studio at Hoffman Media, and we recorded eight songs for you. The, it's playing right now. Crank it up a little bit. And the incredible thing is your mother, and I knew you would know this, can play the violin. She can play the, uh, the flute. She can play the... Accordion. Accordion. <laughs> anyway, so, something, yeah, piano, organ, she can play anything. So your mother played every single bit of music that's on this tape. Wow. So it's a great gift. It's a wonderful gift for the rest of your life. So. <laughs> and I think, I think everybody is going to get one. And so on, I have these written down on my phone so that you know what songs there are. It's What I Did for Love, All I, All I Ask of You, Downs and Abbey, <laughs> La Vie en Rose, which is my favorite. I love this one too, though. Um, the Wind Beneath My Wings. Yes. Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Yes. Somewhere out there. Yeah. And then 
who we all love this. Phyllis doesn't like this. What a wonderful world. Yeah. All new editions, all this, it, 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 we just have last year. So, I'm sorry. No, that's great. <laughs> My mother always said that you can tell a person by the people that they surround themselves with. And the two of you are blessed to have this many friends and family that love you unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And so every time you listen to this, all of you, it's great dinner music, it's background music. Um, it's a gift from my heart to Brian Stephen and for all of you to remember this beautiful night because it's a very special night for all of us that are here. Um, both of my boys were gifts from God. Brian has always been the dramatic one. <laughs> Daddy, he was free for a couple days, and then, you know, when he kicked in, he really kicked in. So. <laughs> but um, all of our children are blessings to us, and this is his special night with Stephen. Now we have another one, Stephen, added to our flock. And, uh, so we welcome you to our family. And we love all of you, and thank you for coming, because each of you are very special to all of us. And Neil and I are very blessed to have you all in our home, and thank you so much. And so for the last toast, I want you to toast Brian and Stephen, forever love, forever laughter. Cheers. 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 Cheers.